The Story of Bolton and Watt Thomas Newcomen was an engineer. He had produced an improved steam engine in the early 18th century. A lot of these engines were bought by the owners of coal and tin mines. In 1769, a man called James Watt patented an invention which made Newcomen's steam pump work more quickly while using less fuel. Watt went into partnership with someone, but his partner went bankrupt. Watt was desperate for money. In 1774, he went into partnership with Matthew Bolton. Bolton and Watt began to assemble engines at the Soho Works. Bolton had to borrow a lot of money to pay for the manufacture of Watt's engines. It was a long time before he was out of debt. Watt's pump produced up and down movement. To, to turn machinery, rotary movement was needed. Bolton realised that there would be a very large market for a rotary steam engine. Watt worked on the problem, but it was William Murdoch, the foreman at Soho Works, who thought of a solution. The rotary steam engine was soon being used in many industries, such as brewing, textiles and coin pressing. In 1790, Bolton opened a new factory called the Soho Foundry. All parts for the steam engine could now be made on one site. This part of the firm's business expanded rapidly. In 1805, when Bolton died, he had a fortune of £150,000. The, the end. end.